And hello, everybody, and welcome back to another one of our fabulous sessions with the winemakers who are making the private barrel auction of Washington wines possible. Uh, these wines, of course, are available nowhere else. You get them just from the winery and their special blend. We've got a, a great guest with us this, today, and Rob Campisi has been the winemaker at Dunham for last four years or so, but he's been with the company for 15. So he knows the ins and outs really well of what's going on with Dunham. And hello, Rob. Welcome aboard. Hello, Bob. Yeah, nice to have you here. And nice that you're showing such a, a terrific 2020 Merlot, energy, polish, uh, everything about it. Um, tell us a little bit about what you in four years have done to the style of Merlot at Dunham. Uh, for the most part, I mean, I respect the rest overall restraint style that we do here at Dunham. Um, I personally like wines that are just approachable right away. Um, if anything, I'm always looking to uh, push for a very uh, nice texture, especially at Merlot. I think that's probably, if anything, a little more of my focus. Um, I like the fruit just to express itself. Um, so we have a diverse portfolio of of Merlot coming throughout the Columbia Valley and even here in Walla Walla. So I just like to build um, a Merlot that just uses all those different complementary um, elements to build build something like this wine, for example. Okay, well, in fact, this wine is a blend of three vineyards. You wanna mm -hmm. talk about each one of them and what they bring to the party, what you're looking for? Sure, yeah. The, I have about, what, 42% from Weinbau Vineyard, and that's located in the Waluk Slope. It's a warm region, and I find that that component tends to give deeper, richer flavors. Um, and then I also have Kenny Hill, which is our estate vineyard here in Walla Walla. Um, a lot of the wines overall show a great expression of purity of fruit, but I really like how that... Uh, portion of blend gives structure to the wine, which I look for in Merlot. Um, and then the last blending piece is from Lewis Vineyard, our estate vineyard located in the Yakima AVA. And we're in one of those pockets where you see really good diurnal temperature shifts, where a lot of that natural acidity is preserved. Um, we see lower pHs. So Oh no, it really just kind of brings together really nice balanced wine showing bright flavors. It's your, your terminology. I'm looking back at my notes as you're talking here, your terminology. One of the things that jumped out in this wine you mentioned, and it's right here in my notes, energy. There's an aromatic energy to this wine, nothing compoted, nothing jammy, nothing stewed. It's got, it's got great energy. And as I look to the warmth of, of the Wallook Slope AVA, the breadth of Walla Walla AVA, but then that freshness that you get out of the mid Yakima Valley, you've done a, a really terrific job in combining these here and bringing out kind of the best of what Washington does with Merlot. Yeah, Merlot performs so well in Washington and just overall, like, uh, it's just, just a higher level of quality. Um, just additional information on the wine it was about 70% neutral, 30% uh, new French oak. I just wanted to show a little uh, enhancement of the wine, if you will, just to add those secondary flavors of, of just a little vanilla spice, dried fruit flavors, just kind of working with, like I was mentioning earlier, with the texture of the wine. Uh, I still wanted a lot of what the, uh, the fruit shows, aromatically especially. Um, I wanted that to come through. Um, but all in all, I think the wine is shown pr pretty well right now, um, but I anticipate it being a lot more refined here in the next few weeks, to, uh, month plus to come, and then hopefully bottle it here toward the end of summer. Okay, and then what kind of what kind of longevity do you see in your Merlots, this one in particular? Um, wh wh what's your drinking window? Um, I like my wines after they've sat. I like to explore through them probably even after a year they've been laying down just to really see a lot of the vibrant freshness of it and then kind of pinpoint, um, you know, the development over the next few years. I, I, I'm not a big fan of wines that are uh, have laid down for a very long time. I think wines within even that less than 10 year window are kind of that optimal window for my drinking pleasure, especially with what I like about Merlot. 
I, I'm, I'm, I'm in line with you. Um, the older I get, the the shorter I age my wines. Um, I'm, I'm not looking for 30 year wines anymore. I, I, I don't find that as a badge of honor. It, it's, um, it's almost an impediment to my buying. So um, this wine, you struck really perfect pitch. I love the phenolic load, huge color, black, purple, but uh, there's this, this suppleness on the palate that um, pretty inviting right now. Uh, it's a uh, very good bravo what a, what a wonderful effort and a and a great offering for the private barrel auction folks take a serious look at this wine in your bidding this is um this is really terrific washington merlot and remember that what you invest in this private barrel auction helps to enhance the future of washington winemaking by all of the proceeds going to the washington state university uh, wine Science Center and the research programs there. So, Rob, terrific effort. Great wine. Thanks Thank so you much very much, Rob. I appreciate it. You bet. All the best to you.